Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. Today, we're gonna to be talking about barricade bags. So what I've got for you today, there's seven of the best barricade bags available on the market. I was able to get a hold of these bags through the various companies, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Uh, you may be looking at the video going, hey idiot, there's only six. Um, right, the seventh one was the Bison Tactical Utter, which I had to send back. They sent me one of their team bags and they needed it back in a hurry. So I don't have it on the table in front of me, but you'll see it in the video and, uh, and you'll hear about it as I, as I give you some descriptions. So the first one is the Tactical Utter from Bison. Um, but I am going to kind of kick this off with the bag that started it all, and that is the original Reezer Game Changer. This bag, designed by Clifton Reeser, uh, changed our industry. Um, all the rest of the bags, no matter what they've kind of become or, or, or turned into, were at least loosely um, and sometimes directly based on the Reeser Game Changer. This bag I've been using religiously for three years now. Every competition that I go to, it's with me. And uh, just wanted to make sure that everyone knew this is the bag that started it all. So no matter what you're using, this industry changed because of this bag, the Game Changer. And I take this with me and I let new people use it and they're amazed by it still. Um, and I do think a bag like this is exactly what you want. Now all these bags will do basically the same job, but nothing but respect for Mr. Reeser for what he started because um, man, he made my time at the range more fun because I'm able to get more hits out of this design. So that's a great bag. So uh, a few of the other bags. So we've got a, so we've got several from Armageddon gear. So Armageddon ended up working with Clifton Reeser. Uh, I don't remember how long ago now, but they started making bags that are designed uh, off the Reeser design. And so uh, the Armageddon OG uh, has got just a few subtle design features um, that the original one didn't, but Still the same bag, available through Armageddon gear. You're gonna to wanna to check those out. They've got other ones like the new Hotness right now is an all leather version of this that's supposed to break in really nice and supple and just be, uh, be the cat's meow. So check them out at Armageddon gear. We've also got, from Armageddon gear, we've got the Clutch. This one's slightly different in that it's actually got snaps at four locations, two on the top and two underneath the bottom that allow you to, to separate this into two separate bags. You've got a a rectangular shaped bag here and a wedge shaped bag on the other side. Straps on both ends. Check that one out from Armageddon as well. From Webad, they were generous enough to send me these fortune cookies for review. So this is the Webad fortune cookie. This is the full size and this is the mini. And I'm going to actually buy one of the minis after I'm done with this. I got to talk to them and get a price on that bad boy, because I'm gonna keep the mini. I think it's, uh, it's, I've found a couple of uses for this mini fortune cookie that I can't use any of the other full-size bags for. So that's the wee bad fortune cookie, check them out. They've also got a ton of other bags too. And then I've also got the uh, Black Branch Gecko 2. Again, based on the Reezer Game Changer, the difference, the major difference here is this stay fast material that they've added to basically all the surfaces of the bag. Um, this stuff is super grippy, very sticky. So you picture it on um, angled barricades, like sometimes there's like a two by four or something running at a 45 degree angle. You can just wrap this thing around there and it won't slide, it just stays put. Also, there's been matches where I've had to shoot off the slant of a car window, um, you know, and most of those bags will just slide down the window not with the Gecko 2. This thing just, you can just splay it out with that grippy material down on the window and it will not slide. It just sticks firm and then you can put your rifle in there. So that's the Black Branch uh, Gecko 2. My point today, I just want to make this clear. None of these companies um, sponsors me in any way. Um, I don't receive money from any of these companies. So I'm not endorsing any one more than another. So hear that loud and clear. Um, I'm not here to say that one is better than another because I do think they all shine in certain areas and fall short in others. Um, every single one of them has pluses and minuses. So it's up to you to determine um, the best bag for your application. But I do think that, that you can't really go wrong. If you chose any one of these right now off the table to shoot off of most of the barricades that we use in the PRS type competitions, 
you'd be hard pressed to find something else on the market that did as well as, as one of these. So there you have it. Guys, thanks for watching today. Hopefully this helps you make a decision on, on what barricade bag you might like to try. I think you've got all great companies here, um, all roughly the same price. I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. So hopefully this has helped you. Hit that like and subscribe button down below, please. Consider supporting me through Patreon. That would be a huge help at this point in the game. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week with another great video. Mm -hmm.